there's nothing we can do, Kip. They've left Texas. It's up to the law officers in New Mexico. So you might just as well report back to your post. But, Captain Rogers, I've known these people ever since I was a kid. I hate facing their washed-out families empty-handed. Well, you can tell them we'll have another emergency donation just as soon as we can. How are they going to live till then? They have no food, no shelter, no clothing. That money Dan Cass stole would have bought all those things. I'm sorry, Kip, you can't go after it. But a Texas Ranger has no authority outside the borders of this state. That's right. You know, Captain, you've promised me a vacation for a long time. I'd like to take it now. See, I need some extra money right away. I think I'll go prospecting for gold. In New Mexico? Yeah. Might strike it rich over there. I think I can arrange that, Kip. 30 days be enough? Plenty, Captain. And thanks. in that hall are dated 1880. They leave a trail like hoofprints in a mud bank. Every time we spend one, that black masked hombre pops up gunning for the rest of them. Got any idea who he is, Cass? Folks say he's the Durango Kid. The Durango Kid? Why, well, they're local. The Durango Kid's dead. Dead, huh? Well, if he is, his ghost nearly rode off on his white mount with my gold. Can't you see the fix I'm in, Lucky? Sure. You got a hundred thousand dollars in gold coin and you're starving. Well, I've got to live till you turn that gold into folding money. Why don't you try the Long Bend Bank? That Harding Mine payroll's due next week. What's the bank set up? For $50,000, I'll send you a complete plan. It's a deal. I'll be waiting for you at Castle Rocks. hundred thousand dollars. There ought to be some way we can take that over permanent. There is. back to Texas. Y'all know it's against the law to come shooting this town up after decent folks have hit the hay. If Sheriff Mark was ahead, run every dead gum one of you in. All I'm going to ask y'all to do is go on home, gentlemen. Dan Cass. Durango kid, but it sure looks like he's done a law good turn. When the white van moves? Because he's one of the gang, you idiot. Oh, you mean they just got to fussing? Yeah, they were fighting among themselves. I hit the street first and saw it all. The kid ducked back in the bank there. Go and get him. Me? Yes, you. Go on. All right. But listen, I'm just a sheriff's brother. Oh, go on and get him. All right, I'm going in and quit pushing me. Good gracious. Get out of the way. There he is. Making a getaway. Go get him. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Oh, well, where's my horse? Where's my horse?
That for a wind must be a ghost. He blew away like cigar smoke. He must have stopped here. Surround the place and search the buildings. Nevada, you and I look in Tech's office. Right. What are we stopping here for? Never mind that. Get off your horse. Yes, sir. Now, a good prospector. Oh, hello, Tex. Didn't mean to bust in on you. Yeah. We thought you were gone. Oh, that's all right, man. Come in. What do you want at this time of the night? The Durango kid. He shot up the Dan Cass gang a while ago in town and made his getaway. We just lost him. Thought maybe he was hiding here. Well, if he is, I guess we were too busy looking over this map to hear him right in. You're welcome to look around. The others are looking around, outside. Oh, excuse me. Lucky Thorpe, I'd like you to meet Kip Allen, an old friend of mine from Texas. Oh, yeah. Howdy. Kip came out here to see if he could dig any gold out of our hills. You sure it's not the Long Bend Bank you figured on getting that gold from? What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I've never seen you around here before. How long have you been here? That's none of your business, mister. Well, I'll make it my business. Sorry, Tex. Nevada kind of lost his head, I guess. You better get him out of here or there'll be no guessing about it. Glad I met you, Alan. Say, stranger, you better let me pin this deputy badge on you. We're kind of shorthanded around here since that Durango kid's been running loose. No, thanks. But I'll be on the lookout for him. Kind of like to meet the gent. Well, I hope I don't. I mean, I hope I do. Uh, I hope you do. Well, gentlemen, I got to go. I'll see you later. Been nice to insult you. <laughs> Why don't you watch the way you put that thing? Somebody allowed to get hurt. Well, Tex, I guess I owe you an explanation. I figured that if he was a Durango kid, he'd show his hand. He did. But I'm afraid that hand got his practice on the side of the law. We better keep our eye on him so we can learn more about him. I see. As a Durango kid, you plan to chase Cass back into Texas so the Rangers could nab him. Right. And since nobody else took the credit for killing him, I'm beginning to think that bank holdup was a double cross. You mean someone here planned to get rid of Cass and take over his stolen loot? Mm-hmm. Then as a Durango kid, you'll have to look out for them and the law, too. Reckon so. Well, Kip, I've already thrown in with you, and I'm going the rest of the way. What do you want me to do? Help me find that stolen gold, Tex. Cass must have had a hideout near here while he was checking the bank set up. Well, as a mining man, I know every inch of this territory. Let's have another look at the map. There it is. The old Castle Rock mine's been abandoned for three years. Well, let's look it over.
had better luck than I did. Who is he? Lefty Deans. He dealt far in the Bullion Belt Saloon. That's interesting. I wonder why he's gunning for us. Lucky Thorpe might know. We'll ask him. Sidekick Joe, good old Joe, oh, what a buckaroo. Square a shooting man I ever knew. Just a rang a tang a cussin' bow. And never seen the likes of Sidekick Joe. Then one evening, while the coyotes was a howling in the dew, we struck yellow and we split it 50 50 between the two. He was just my pal. Never had a better pal. Stole my horse, my gal, and all my dough. And never seen the likes of Sidekick Joe. I've traveled round from coast to coast, but there's one place that I love most: Dakota, Arizona, Oklahoma, Texas, Texas. All oh, the west is where I wanna ride. With just one sourdough by my side Down the canyon trail With a pack of shovel and a pail On the yellow metal I would go With no one else along but sidekick Joe Good old Joe, well, what a buckaroo Square a shooting man I ever knew Say, uh, would you like to take me to I make Mr. Ike? Never seen the likes of sidekick Joe Good old Joe Then one evening while the coyotes was a-howlin' in the dew, we struck yellow, and we split it fifty-fifty between the two. He was just my pal, man, he never had a better pal. Stole my horse, my gal, and all my dough, he never seen the likes of Sidekick Joe. Sidekick Joe, Sidekick Joe. You boys are getting pretty good. How about playing here all the time? I'll pay you well. Oh, shucks, no, Lucky. Uh, we're cow hands. That's right. Playing ain't no fun when you're getting paid for it. <laughs> See, would you like to take me till I make my strike? Oh, thank you, neighbor. That's the best investment you made in your life. All right, boys. I'll open for a hundred. I'll call it. All right. One. I'll take the same. Uh, wait a minute. You want me to give you a winning cut, Lucky? Sure, grub steak. Right. Your bet. Check. I'll bet a hundred. And I'll call you. Full house. Wait a minute. Folks think I'm crazy for looking after you, Grubstake. But I find out it pays. No, you ain't seen nothing yet, Lucky. And I ain't gonna forget this when I hit my winning strike. Why, howdy, Grubstake. Hi, neighbor. You raised your steak yet? Uh, not quite. Uh, you know, this town is loco. They don't believe me. <laughs> but I'll show them. Oh, is this a young whippersnapper that come looking for gold? Yes. Kip, I'd like to meet Grubstake. Hiya, Grubstake. Hiya, Kip. You might be willing to show you where to look. <laughs> That's so? Oh, you won't even have to look. No. You just loan me your steak. <laughs> I'll show you more of that yellow stuff than you ever saw in all your born days. Is that a reliable story, Tex? <laughs> oh, go on, laugh, darn you, just like all the rest of them. But if you'll put a few dollars where your mouth is, I'll turn that laugh on the whole shebang. <laughs> I'd laugh to caught you in the act, didn't you? You old faker, come on with me. Come on, Grubstick. Now, wait a minute. Just leave me alone. Come on now, Grubstick. You gotta go with me. Cut it out. You wanna tear my clothes? Tear me out. Grubstick, come on now. You gotta go with me. Come hey. on. Leave him alone. You wanna make something out of it? I've already made something out of it. 
Now listen, Lucky. You know Grubstake ain't got no more gold on the ground. He's got in his teeth. Nobody's ever proved that he hasn't. I believe him. Oh, gee whiz. You just want to baby him because you think he brings you good luck, that's all. But this town's on to him. He ain't nothing but just a plain old panhandler. And another thing, there's a law against begging in Long Bend. But you can't enforce it on private property. Now, if you haven't got any more business in here, you can... Yes, sir. You can't put me out of here. I'm the sheriff's brother. Don't shoot me, mister. Don't shoot me. We've got some business in here. Private business. All right, gents. In my office. All right, men. What is it? Lefty Deans just took a shot at me. Why? Why ask me? Well, since Lefty Nevada both Nevada thought to... you were the Durango kid. Maybe Lefty made the same mistake. You can't blame him if he did. It's funny how you showed up here the night of the bank job. Well, thinking that way, I could accuse you of having all of Dan Cass's stolen loot. Just because you live in the same town where he was killed. I see what you mean. You know, Alan, I think that Lefty was just doing a favor for a friend. Nevada's holding a grudge against you for making a fool out of him the other night over at Texas Place. That makes sense, Skip. Nevada could have asked Lefty to help him get even. Sure. Work on that. And if you need any others straightening out, just drop in and see me. I'll be around. Thanks. I'm beginning to see that a brain like yours might help a man out of some tight squeezes. How'd you get in here? Back way. The gold's in the closet. You know if Lefty Deems hadn't drawn those two away from Cass's hideout. They'd have found it. And they went out there looking for it. Tex knows better than to take a prospector out to a dry hole looking for new gold. Well, what's Tex got to do with it? I don't know. But I'm taking no chances on him finding it here. What do you want me to do with it? Take it out to the old dry branch smelter tonight. Then we'll figure out what to do with Mr. Kip Allen. Uh -huh. Hey, Grubstake. Hey, what? Ruffy. Wait a minute, Cannonball, don't you bother me. I'm out here on the street, but I ain't asking nobody for help. Well, I'm asking for help this time. You know a fellow by the name of J. Horace Higginbottom? Do you know him? Well, uh, why, yes, why, uh, who wants him? Never mind, come on, speak up. I'm in a hurry. Who is it, Grubstake? Well... <laughs> you, J. Horace Higginbottom? <laughs> no wonder you call yourself Grubstake. What are you hiding there, J. Horace Higginbottom? Uh, nothing. You don't have to yell it all over the place, either. Ain't nothing I'm ashamed of, and I'm ready to defend it. What are you looking for me for? I ain't guilty of nothing. Well, you'll get to let this letter lay around the post office till they had to ask me to come and find you, or else they'd have thrown it in the dead gum dead letter file. Here you are, Mr. J. Horace Higginbottom. <laughs> yeah, but I never go to the post office. Uh, nobody ever writes to me up. Wonder who trim. Yes, I'm very easy to let me be. Why, Grubstake, that stagecoach was right. If you did that on purpose, you can be thrown in jail. That's right, Grubstake. You know it's against the law to mess up these pretty streets in this town. You seem to know a lot about the law, Alan. Anybody knows attempting suicide is a criminal offense. 
Cannonball. Nobody's here to take care of him. You better put him in a safe place. That's what I'm thinking. Come on, boy. Hold on, Cannonball. I'll be responsible for him. Come on, Grubstake. Don't ever pull a trick like that again. Do you want to break my run of good luck? Her no lucky, but you don't know the trouble I'm in. Haven't I always taken care of your troubles? Oh, sure, Lucky, but they ain't nothing compared to the jam I'm in now. What is it? Look at there. Oh, from your granddaughter, Gail Radford, eh? Yeah. Well, if you've never seen her, what can she mean to you? Well, she, she's the only thing I got left in the world now. She, her daddy was no good. And I supported him even after my daughter died. From the money you panhandled for a prospecting stake? Yeah. He's gone now. And she's coming out here. But how's she gonna make a home for me when I ain't got no home to be made? Don't worry about that. We'll find a little place for you. Yeah, but you see, Lucky, Gail has always been reared in some sort of a finishing school, thinking that the bills are being paid from my rich bonanza instead of the filthy pockets of them saloon customers. So she thinks you're a rich man, eh? Yeah. And it's gonna break the kid's heart when she finds out what I really am. I tell you, I can't face it, Lucky. What am I gonna do? <laughs> well, you got a mighty loco notion of fun, Lucky. I'm laughing because we're gonna make you everything that girl thinks you are. Huh? Grub steak, you're gonna find your lost mind. What? Nevada! But I don't even know where to now, look. you leave everything to me. I'll explain it all later. You go get your pack mule ready for a prospecting trip in the desert. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You want me, boy? Yeah. I want you to get that old dry brand smelter in operation. My lucky piece just showed me the way to turn that gold coin into cash right under the nose of the law. Forget, folks. This is my town. I founded it and I built it up to what it is. And I've been a rich man just as long as you can remember. And my name is not Grubsteak, but it's J. Horace Hickenbotham. <laughs> you got that? <laughs> now, that's fine, that's fine. Now, you better all clear the street, because it's just about time for the fireworks to begin. Now, I want you all to get around the stores and spend your money. You oh, know, I'm always out there, too. Here, you go. <laughs> Cannonball, what's all the excitement? Boy, old grub steaks really struck it rich. They're gonna be big news now, Kip. Wait on my office. Any luck? No, Tex, and I combed everything we mapped. Cash grub steaks fine? Why, yes. The nugget's all right. Good quality. Why? I'm just suspicious of any new goal that turns up. Where'd he make his strike? He didn't say. I guess he feels safer keeping it a secret. Oh. That's a town out to welcome Grubstake's granddaughter. Why don't you forget business today and help him to celebrate? I think I will. Try and find out where that gold's coming from. My, what a fine lady you've grown up to be. Miss Gill, this here is the key to J. Hawes Higginbottom Fair City. Thank you, it's beautiful. Oh, boys, I want you to meet my granddaughter. Gail, 
This is Chip Allen. Pleasure, ma'am. And this is Tex Hardy. Howdy, ma'am. And now, while we're all greeting our guest, Long Bend's second leading citizen will honor us by singing a song of welcome. Tex Hardy. Night shadows falling fast. The skies are overcast. A lonely cowboy rides through the night. No moon is hanging low. No coyotes tail. I hope I'll hear more of it. I'm a hunch you will. Lots more. <laughs> yes, sir, folks. There'll be plenty of dancing, music, and fun. Just as soon as my little gal gets rested up, we're going to have a real shindig over at my new shanty. <laughs> <laughs> and all you folks that are willing to fetch your good manners and check your shooting irons at the door and drink nothing stronger than pink lemonade is invited. Count on us with the music, Mr. Higginbottom. <laughs> you see there, young feller? You made the mistake of your life not throwing in with me. I sure did. But I might still be interested in buying in if you'd let me check over your mind. Do you want to settle your bill now, Mr. Hagenbotham? Well, sure, Lucky. I'll be right there. When you're feeling good and peace, you would like to keep. Well, there's Kip. This used to bring him on the run. Where's the trouble, Tex? Trouble? <laughs> yes, Gail. You see, when Tex and I were boys out hunting buffalo, we used to sing a whistle that tune, just as a warning that the other was headed for trouble. It's called, uh, Look Before You Leap. Tex might be heading for trouble. Suppose you help him settle it while I serve refreshments. What's she mean, Kip? She means that I want to talk about keeping company with her. Keeping company? Oh, I see. Congratulations, Kip. <laughs> Listen, you wall-eyed calf, why congratulate me? She wants me to build a bonfire under you. Me? But I... I thought it was you. With the ranger's life and pay? No, Tex, they're both too short for me to ask a girl like well, her. Well, that wouldn't make any difference to Gail. Why, you've been spending so much time out here, I thought you two had become pretty friendly. We are friendly. And I sure wish that was the only reason for my coming out here. Grub steak? I'm sure you're wrong about him, Kip. I hope so, for Gail's and your sake. Well, good luck. Thanks, Kip. <coughs> okay, all right. 
Nice party, uh, Higginbotham. Mm. Yeah, but I ain't having no fun. I'm always fretting that somebody will make a mistake in front of Gail and call me Grubsteak. Hey, Grubsteak. <laughs> You big mouth mule. What are you braying about? I wasn't braying about nothing. I was just gonna say that shindig must have cost you a pretty penny, that was all. <laughs> Boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going out tomorrow and fetch back something that'll show this town some real carryings on. I think you're making a big mistake carrying all that gold back through the desert alone. So do I. Suppose I escort you from your mine to town. Do you think I want all the sourdough vermin in this country of making a general setter out of me? Oh, no. Ain't nobody or nothing gonna know where that gold's are coming from except the pack mule that leads me to it and the lucky poke that fetches it back. How about some music, boys? Coming right up. That's a good idea. Let's, let's go cut a die, old boy. Come on. Uh, which one of you girls like to dance here? Oh, let's play cowboys and Indians. Here's how it's done. You start to run, I shoot my gun. Cowboys and Indians, you pretty squaw. I'm crazy for someone like you. We'll do an Indian dance that's heaping swell. Come on, let's whoop and yell. Cowboys and Indians, now you chase me from your teepee and say to me, oop, 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 then we make up again when this game ends. Cowboys and Indians are friends. Shoot my gun, cowboys and Indians, you pretty squaw. I'm crazy for someone like you. We'll do an Indian dance that's heaping swell. Come on, let's whoop and yell. Cowboys and Indians, now you chase me from your teepee. And say to me, how, 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 then we make up again when this game ends. Cowboys and Indians, <laughs> cowboys and Indians are friends. Well, folks, folks, I reckon that's a fitting end for a bang-up party. <laughs> so I reckon you all better go home now. Because I got a feeling that there's a couple of young folks, uh, you know, that's pining to be left alone. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Good luck, Dan. Good night, boys. Good night. All right. Yeah. I've got something I want to say to you before I leave. Shh. Lucky, can't we, uh, she's liable to hear you. Can't we talk privately? I'll wait for you in your study.
Mango Kid. That gum if he hadn't hit Mom, I'd have hit him, Tex. I'm sorry, Cannonball. I just want a better look. Get your horses, boys. And he's vanished. Wonder which way he went. I got it. He jumped off back there in the woods. Come on, we'll get him. Get him. Wrong, Gail? Yes, I was hurrying to find either you or Tex. Grandpa Horace just left for the mine, and you both warned him not to go up there alone. And he's just too stubborn for his own good. But I'll catch up and stay near him without his knowing it. Oh, will you, Kip? Sure. He headed north toward Sandstone Pass. I'll take after him. Thanks, Kip. to take that gold, Kip. It belongs to me. I wrote this number on Grubstake's bag last night. It's his, all right. And I'll want to know why you're lying to me after I find out where Grubstake's getting this gold. You come with me. Well, just as I suspected. There hasn't been a pick in that hole for years. 
Grubstake, Grub suppose you tell me all about this. Well, I don't know why Tex here poses as a Durango kid and robbed me. And the rest of it ain't none of your business. And you may be a Texas Ranger like he says you are, but you're out of your territory here. You must have found out this was pretty serious, Tex, or you wouldn't have turned against me. Better come clean. All right, Kip. That's minted gold. Yeah, I double-crossed Dan Cass for his looted coins. I melted them into nuggets. He's local. Shut up, you're upstake. He didn't know it was his stolen gold. I just found out that he ran onto my hideout while he's out prospecting. He's lying. Now, look here, Kip. No use, Tex. You knew I was hot on Grubstake's trail, so you tried to get that gold out of the way before I caught up with him. What were you planning to do with it? Ship it back to the Treasury without any explanation. I can make up for what he spent. Well, I'm sorry, Tex, but Grubstake's not in this alone. You were turning over to Lucky all the money that Tex paid you for that gold, weren't you, Grubstake? Well, yes, but Lucky told me he was getting it from a friend, that he was just giving me enough to pull the wool over Gale's eyes. Well, Tex risked a long stretch in the penitentiary to save you and Gale from a scandal. Well, I guess the least I can do is clean up my own mess. But I can find out where that gold come from if you just give me an hour to see Lucky. Tip him off so he can skip out with the rest of it? I can't take that chance. But you got to, Ranger. If somebody don't fist up to getting that gold from Dan Cass, well, you ain't got nothing on nobody. I'm afraid he's right, Kip. If Lucky's hiding that gold, perhaps you can trick him into leading us to it. You just give me a chance. All right. All right. I think this friend ought to be looked into. He's double-crossing you, Lucky. You're right, Grubstake. And I'm gonna ride out and have a showdown with our friend. And you're going along to look over the rest of that gold. Hmm. Now you're being smart. If it ain't on the level, Tex is liable to find it out, and then we'll all be heading for a mess of trouble. Sure. You go in the saloon and borrow a horse off one of the boys. I'll be along soon. All right, Lucky. Tex and that ranger are gonna get the surprise of their life when they walk into their own trap. What about Grubstake? Oh, he won't talk, as long as it'll put Gale wise to what he really is. Hey, that's right. I reckon he is your lucky piece after all. burning pass. Let's get after them. No, I'm going alone, Tex. You'd better get back to the saloon and try and search Lucky's office. I reckon Gail's bound to find out that Grubstake's a liar and a panhandler, no matter how this turns out. That's better than his being branded a thief. And if he helps recover that gold, I'll do everything I can to protect him. What are we stopping for? To make sure we're not being followed. Yeah, but who'd want to follow us? The Durango Kid. But why would the Durango Kid want to follow us? He's been on the trail of that gold. And I wouldn't want any friend of mine to get mixed up with it. Well, I know, but they... Get see... going, Grubstake. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh. Why are you stopping? Well, I was just uh, thinking. Well, don't do it. It's liable to get you in trouble. Get going. Why, sure, Nevada, sure. Come on, wait a minute. Get down there. Get down. Come on, get down. Get out of there. Leave me. Shot. Sure, he knew you'd talk. Uh, nuggets. And luck is safe. gentlemen. Have a drink in the house. Keep your hand away. Since I want you to stay, just hand your guns to the bartender. Kip Allen comes through that door before I leave. Stop him. Sit down, heart attacks. I'm expecting a visitor, a friend of yours. And maybe the boys can persuade you and the musicians to make it sound like we're all having the usual good time. You know the tune, Look Before You Leap. Yeah, we know it. All right, fellas. Now, let's sing it like it's never been sung before. When you see dark clouds are gathering in the sky, do you ever wonder what it could mean and why? When you're feeling good and peace, you would like to keep. Just remember, brother, to look before you leap.
Just remember, brother, to look before you leave. If you're out at midnight riding the lonely trail, everything is peaceful, even the coyotes wail. You would like to sleep and not have to count no sheep. Then remember, brother, to look before you leave. those guns. Lucky's dead. Yeah, he lost his winning streak when he murdered Grubstake. Pick up their guns. Gail, yeah, you can always be proud of Grubstake. He planned the whole cleanup and the recovery of that money. I only helped. Hey, Kip. Yeah? You know, you didn't only get rid of a nest of rattlesnake for us, but you saved the lives of a lot of people in Texas. Oh, is that so? Yeah, you know all that money that old Luck hid in his safe? Yeah. Well, that belonged to those people. The Rangers are sending a man out here to pick up that money by the name of, uh... Kip Allen? Yeah, Kip Allen. <laughs> That's you, ain't it? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you stay around that territory, Kip. I'd like to, Tex, but I hear there's trouble over in Antelope Valley. More work for the Durango kid? Right, so. Bye, Gail. Thanks a lot, Kip. Lots of luck to you. Walk. Walk. I wonder who's gonna take care of Miss Gale now. I don't suppose old Grubstake ever told her where his lost mine was. No, I guess that secret died with him. But there won't be any financial worries for Mrs. Tex Harding. No. Miss Tex Harding? Hey, folks, them two are heading for a honeymoon. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy. <Kevin. laughs> Passing by as lonely cowboys. 